It's been almost two years since the disaster in Fukushima. The accident at the Daiichi power plant caused many to question the safety of atomic energy. It also drew attention to another complex issue, how to dispose of nuclear waste. The Fukushima plant suffered a string of meltdowns and hydrogen explosions. Workers struggled to keep reactors cool after the tsunami knocked out the electricity supply. But that wasn't the only problem. Right next to the reactors are pools that store spent nuclear fuel. The pools started to heat up after the power went down. Emergency crews had to pump in water to avoid a worst-case scenario, a meltdown of the fuel rods. Thousands of rods are stored at the Daiichi plant, and thousands more at plants around the country. They are the byproduct of half a century of atomic power generation, and it keeps piling up. Japan has 17,000 tons of spent nuclear fuel that needs to be disposed. NHK World's Yoichiro Osaki has been covering nuclear energy issues. He says developing suitable technology is not the only challenge. Japan's original plan was to recycle nuclear fuel, but technical problems have brought the project to a standstill. The reprocessing plant has never gone into operation. Nuclear waste remains toxic for tens of thousands of years. Keeping people and the environment safe for this length of time is a huge challenge. One idea is to bury the waste deep underground. Japan's government has backed this solution, as have many other countries. They say they have the technology to do this safely. Japan's plan for underground barrier has been on the drawing board for more than a decade. It would start by separating the waste into cylinders. The cylinders, 1.3 meters high and 70 centimeters in diameter, will be encased in concrete. The plan is to bury them 300 meters below the surface. They would be housed in a huge repository, the size of about 200 soccer stadiums. The problem is where to bury it. Local authorities would have to give their permission. Efforts to find a site began in the year 2000. The government had hoped strong incentives would encourage bids to host the facility. It has offered up to 2 billion yen in subsidies to any region that applies for a survey. But 11 years after launching the bidding process, not a single candidate has emerged. It's a similar story in many other parts of the world. 30 countries and one region operate nuclear plants. Only two have decided where to build a long-term disposal site. They are Finland and Sweden. The United States has the largest number of reactors. The Obama administration introduced a new disposal plan in January, but it won't be implemented until 2048, 35 years from now. Finding a place to safely store nuclear waste was never going to be easy. The accident at Fukushima has made it that much harder. This issue goes beyond whether Japan should abolish nuclear energy. Whatever the decision, this country and others have to deal with enormous amounts of waste and will have to do so for many years to come. <laughs> 